Yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy, King07 here, back with another video. Before we get into this video, I just want to remind you all out there, the all are kings and queens. And I hope you all having a very, very blessed day. And I'm back with another NBA 2K23 build video. And in today's build video, what I'm bringing to you guys, what I believe to be the closest replica build of Mr. Desmond Bain himself, now let's go back in a quick time machine and remind y'all who Desmond Bain was. He was a man that he slipped to the back end of the first round due to some question marks about his uh, very, it's a, it's a very small wingspan. I think his height is 6'5 and his wingspan is 6'4 or 6'5, which is very rare for an NBA player. Usually an NBA player has their wingspan 3 to 5 inches longer than their height. Um, and then in terms of his shooting, he did shoot a very high clip. At, I do want to say 100% he went to TCU. I'm pretty sure it was TCU. Let me, let, me just, let me just double fact check. And if you guys are making fun of me in the comments, um, I promise you, I know where I have a weird thing where I know where every NBA player went to college. I know I'm saying I don't know exactly where Desmond Bain went. Yeah, it was TCU. Uh, but probably the last three years, I'm a little more rusty. Uh, but Pat, previous to that, I could tell you where anybody went to college uh, from the NBA. Comment down below. Try quiz me. I know it all, man. Uh, but nonetheless, guys, uh, he was questioned for his three-point uh, kind of shooting. Like, not not his, like, ability to shoot the ball, but his form. His three-point shooting form uh, was in question, but he's done really, really good. He's just continued to get better, and this season, he's averaging a 25-point clip per game, bro. Like, he's averaging 25 points per game while playing alongside John Morant, bro. They're one of the most exciting backcourts, backcourt duos in the NBA right now. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and get into the build. Position, shooting guard, whatever hand, whatever jersey number. And like I said, he's 6'5". We're going to put him up to, I believe he's 215 pounds. Let me just... Let me just double check that real quick to see what build I made for him. Yeah, he's 216. And then for 2K's purposes, guys, with these builds, I'm not going to make them spot on, right? Because I want these builds to, to still be kind of viable. Like, if you guys see the build and want to play like the player, I want you guys to be able to play like him. If I put him at 6'5 wingspan, I don't know. I feel like it wouldn't, it just wouldn't be too good. So we're going to make him 6'9 six, uh, six, wingspan. Go ahead, could continue. So his finishing, he's a relatively solid finisher at the rim, above and below the rim. But what really, like, I noticed about his game is that man is strong, bro. He's built, he's compact. So we're going to give him that 82 strength to give him that silver bully. And then driving dunk, we're going to give him an 86 driving dunk. His driving layup is going to be an 80 to get... Hall of Fame Giant Slayer, and then his close shot's going to be a 67 to get himself that 16th finishing badge. Um, and then moving into the shooting category, obviously where he excels, if I pull up his exact three-point percentage this year, he's shooting 47% from three on nine attempts per game. I don't think, like, you understand how unreal that is. Like, that is unfathomable. Like, my, like, I'm a Brooklyn Nets fan, and I've had the pleasure to watch Joe Harris shoot the lights out for us for, like, the past five seasons, and, like, that clip of nine attempts per game and 47% for three, Joe Harris might have shot higher than that, but definitely not on nine attempts per game, and not the way Desmond Bain is getting those buckets off the dribble as well as off the catch and shoot. I um, mean, so what we're going to give him right here is going to be a 92 three-pointer, and his mid-range is going to be an 81 to give him... Um, a hall of fame mini magician and then 25 total shooting badges in terms of his playmaking we're gonna go ahead and give him 84 pass actually because his uh, his assists from last season were at 2.7 per game he's elevated to five assists per game he's developed as not a floor general but just a player that's not only to look like i can't believe this guy has elevated his game by seven points per game more and basically close to three assists per game more like that jump, he's he's definitely up there for most improved players, bro. He's for real a player. He's a baller. Uh, but ball handle, we're gonna give him that 85 ball handle for a goal quick first step. I don't think he's quite the Hall of Fame quick first step type of caliber player. And then we're gonna give him 76 speed of ball to get that 21st playmaking badges. Now in terms of his defense, he has a defensive rating this season of 118. Um, I'm, I, I only found a list that had the top 23 this season and the 23rd ranked player was at 107. So taking that into account, he's really not, I have heard reports, 
I've read reports that he has gotten better as a perimeter defender, but he's not there yet. So we're going to give him 70 perimeter for bronze clamps, and then the steel is going to be a 64 for uh, bronze glove as well, even though actually you're not even going to get be able to get either of them. So uh, if you really wanted to make this build comp as possible, I guess just get rid of the defense entirely. Uh, but we're making Desmond Bain here, and he's got some defense. All right, it might not be the greatest, but he still shows effort on that side of the court. Uh, so stamina is going to be 90, vertical 67. Your acceleration is going to be an 86 acceleration, and your speed is going to be a 79 with yourself maxing out the rest on free throw at a 74. You actually have one badge point left over for steel to go up to a 65. And that is going to be the Desmond Bain build. Go ahead and click continue. The two takeovers I would put is easy for him. Go limitless range and go uh, for the second one. I would probably throw on like some, some ankle breaking shots, pull precision or negative impact. Or just go with uh finishing moves easy blow buys or advanced gathers um go ahead click continue i wouldn't put any playmaking takeover on this build to be honest and the build is about to show up we got del curry desmond bain himself and bradley beal bradley beal is not a bad comparison honestly to desmond bain i'm kind of curious as to what his comparison nba comparison was when coming out of the draft uh but you have built it ju it's just called a shooter that's all it is just a shooter go ahead and test the build show you guys what badges we're going to go ahead and throw onto this build. Um, if you guys don't know, I'm sure if you're watching the video, you do know. You get six extra badge points, four from completing Rebirth or becoming a starter in the NBA, and then two extra badge points for hitting level 39 in Season 1 and Season 2. Uh, but in terms of the finishing badges, what you're going to want to do here, you definitely want 17. You want to make sure to have seven. So at least out of those six badges, throw one of them at least on, on finishing. Because what you're going to want to do is throw... Um, you're going to throw a uh, limitless takeoff on gold, then end up coring that, and then put bu bully on silver. Then for the other badges, you want giant slayer on hall of fame, fearless finisher, silver, and then your two extra badge points for unlocking tier three. You're probably going to want to throw on rise up and master. Then moving into the shooting badge category, what we're going to want to do here is limitless range. You're going to core that on gold. Then you're going to buy green machine on gold, catch and shoot on gold. Get, uh, get some uh, agent three going on you still got eight badges left over throw a uh, volume shooter on gold get some space creator going on gold as well uh, i like that badge layout then moving into the play making badge category what you're going to want to do here is obviously quick first step on gold bailout silver unpluckable on gold and then you move into tier three you could throw handles for days silver and clamp breaker on silver then you got one more badge point left over throw that on vice grip make sure you don't get plucked when your center just passes you the ball off a rebound then moving into the last and final badge category of this video is going to be the defensive rebounding and to be honest there's not much to say here if i'm being as honest as possible you got eight defensive badges I guess you could throw it on ankle ankle braces and menace maybe uh, and just pray I guess on defense uh, but realistically uh, being serious for a second where I would put my extra five badge points on this build uh, it's tough it's tough where would I actually like genuinely I'm genuinely thinking out loud right now where would I put the extra five badge points like I guess it depends because this build could kind of run point guard um if you want if you're running more of a point guard style role throw it on playmaking but if you're spotting up throw those extra five badge points on blinders or dead eye and just be an absolute sniper and like if you really wanted to you could lower these badges here and then throw your blinders or dead eye on gold and yo you are going to be your point guards dream bro type of teammate because you'll be able to catch that ball and shoot it in anybody's face with these ratings and hey just throw on jump shot lamello base both releases oscar Robertson. thank me later max speed but guys that is going to be the desmond bain build video if you guys did overall enjoy this build video make sure to drop a like comment and subscribe it's been your boy king 7 i'm out peace